I first came to Samoa in 1974 when I was a university student. I came with eight others, uh, Baha'i youth, who wanted to come and do some service here in Samoa. So I was pretty young then, obviously, teenager. Uh, and when I was here, I really fell in love with the place. And in fact, I didn't want to go home. And I think I rang my parents and said I wanted to stay. And they said, you better come back and finish your degree. <laughs> so, uh, and so this was really my first uh, contact with it. And there were just aspects of life in Samoa, the values and the culture uh, that really meant a lot to me and attracted me. Um, Samoan people, everyone believes in God. They, they know the spiritual reality that there is God. Um, it's demonstrated here very strongly by people being involved in churches but they certainly know that there is God and that um, people pray and rely on God and trust in God. And that's something that I really enjoy um, about Samoan culture and um, Samoan society. Whereas often in Western countries, um, there's certainly no basic understanding or acceptance of that. And consequently, because people trust in God and rely on God, they have, um, a higher level of receptivity. Yeah, receptivity and acceptance and calmness. Um, they don't feel they have to control every aspect of their life because God, they can trust in God. So it just has quite an impact on all aspects of um, society.